Hello guys and welcome back to the campaign series. We are, as you know, officially done with the Forgotten campaigns, so we are moving into the African Kingdoms. Play the new campaigns from the African Kingdoms expansion. Journey across Africa, Iberia and India as you relive the exploits of Tariq ibn Siad, Sunjara, Francisco de Almeida and Yorit. So it seems like this one does not have uh, battles of like most the other ones have had so far. But the first one, regardless, will be Tariq ibn Siad. In the early 8th century, Tariq ibn Siad prepares to lead an army of Berbers and Arabs across the sea to Iberia, enthralling his troops with promises of wealth and glory. Will there might be enough to defeat the fearsome infantry of the Visigoths and bring the banner of war to the powerful Merovingian? Kingdom lying beyond the Pyrenees. Their success or failure lies in your hands. Hard is still the toughest one to select, so we're just gonna go straight ahead and choose that. And then I'm not gonna have to read the following part anymore, so enjoy! Okay, so <laughs> I failed! Now, the Battle of Guadalet is the next. <laughs> okay, I don't have to read this part, okay? Enjoy! 711 AD, year 89 of the Hijira. I begin my tale as the winds throw the sands up into a centrifugal spiral, forcing the men and horses to take refuge and shield their eyes. I cannot help but notice how the camels stand tall, undaunted. We are a people of the horse, but we have the resilience of camels as well. Invaders have swept through this land for centuries, and yet we Berbers have remained powerful and strong-willed until now, we have only rarely ventured outside of our homeland on a path of conquest. All of that is about to change. A man named Tariq ibn Ziyad has sowed the seeds of ambition in the minds of warriors and simple herdsmen alike, and we prepare for war. Tariq is not as other men. Formerly a slave, he rose to be a brilliant general. Strong, charismatic, and tactful, he is also one of our own. Thousands of men flock to this banner, and men who formerly shunned the thought of venturing across the sea now eagerly board the ships destined for Iberia. With Allah as my witness, I shall truthfully record the events to come, for good or ill. All right, that was an interesting upon accent. This fruitful land, my brothers. Our conquest of Iberia begins today! Roger that, Tariq. Alright, so main objectives. Oh, this is interesting new layout. Tariq ibn Siad must survive. March to the northwest and defeat Roderick's army. Killing Roderick will cause his army to lose morale. Oh, they lose 20 HP if we kill him. That's interesting. Secondary objects? None. So far, at least. Berbers have access to a wide array of cavalry units that are light, inexpensive and excel at outmaneuvering and countering most enemy armies. Needless to say, they should form the core of your fighting force. The city of Cordoba and the Visigoth fortresses are well fortified. You will require well supported siege equipment to breach them. Fish are abundant in the Atlantic Ocean and the Alboran Sea as well as several rivers. But beware of marauding Visigoth ships. If you run low on gold, you can trade across the sea with the Berber city of Sota to the south. Pirate hordes are also rumored to be located on various islands and might prove a decent boost to your economy. The Berber army is restricted to the castle age and its population limit is 120. Reinforcements of heavy troops, however, will periodically arrive from North Africa. Tariq ibn Siad's army has landed at Gibraltar and must defeat the army of the Visigoth king of Roderick in order to establish a foothold in the region before the Berbers deem it safe to send him villagers to establish a camp. The army of the Visigoth king Roderick has assembled on the far side of the ford in the northwest and is comprised mainly of infantry units with a few supporting archery and cavalry units. It is loosely unified, however and will be demoralized beyond help should their leader fall in battle. A pair of Visigoth fortresses in the northeast watch over much of the region, 
and their troops will aggressively resist any invader. The core of their armies is infantry, but they will employ small contingents of archers, cavalry, and siege as well, and send warships to attack from the water. The city of Cordoba, located in the far north of the map, is well fortified and its strategic location means that it will have to be taken if the Berber army is to control southern Iberia. Legions of archers, cavalry, infantry, siege and clerics will provide staunch resistance in, on the land while their warships will defend the city from amphibious incursions. There are a couple of local uh, villages spread across the region that may be willing to aid your war effort once Roderick's army is defeated. Roger that. Now, before we start, I did turn this up so we had a sound on uh, good sound when he was reading. I have to turn it down a little bit. So, no upgrades. One unit of every single unit in the game, as usual. Lovely. There's here. Oh, Tariq is a janitor. Janitor, as we like to call them. 15 attack, 4 range. Oh, he has actually. 15 attack? I like. Camel Arches, alright. So let me check here quick again. March to the northwest and defeat Roderick's army. Where's Roderick? Oh. Four Pierce armor. We shall march. Northwest. I'm not sure if I should scout. I mean, there seems to be a path going this way as well. Oh, this is a grey village. Let's check that out. I'll go here as well with these just to have a look around. Hello. Something happened? No? They don't, they're not even talking to me. Well, oh, well, I had we to. We deserted the usurper Roderick to fight for an honorable man like yourself. His army has camped just across the fort to the northwest. Roger that, Visigoth soldier. I shall take you in my into my army. Okay, so that, that was good. That's good, I mean. Do they have it? I have no upgrades either. Nordic Swordsman, Champion. Roderick. 450 HP though, aye. He has 4 Pierce Armor, so these Janitors will only do 1 attack, 1 damage to him. I feel like maybe... Yeah, I'm not sure how I will approach this. I am playing on... Oh. Charge? No. No charge. I'm playing on normal speed as you can see. Oh, no, no. Charge! Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna use this to target anything but the Huskulls. Because... Barely do damage to those. Well, we completely Shrek that army. That is good. So yeah, I'm, I'm playing on normal speed for now. I want to see, like, in case the African Kingdom scenarios are shorter than the Forgotten Ones, maybe we can play on normal speed. I know some of you find that more enjoyable. So let me know in the comment section. Comic? Let me know in the comment section whether you prefer normal speed or faster speed. We could do a, uh, like a, a version where we play on fast speed while we build up economy and stuff and then switch to normal speed as battles like this are taking place. That is one way to do it. We're just trying to debate a little bit here. I think we have a significant army advantage here. So we don't have to... I mean, they, we're probably gonna kill all their units before we kill Roderick even. By the looks of things. Yeah, it's pretty much only Roderick left. Yeah. And just a throwing Axeman. And now I'll go for Roderick. Shoot him. Okay, let's uh, just charge Roderick now. Seems like he's just chasing us here. And he should be dead fairly quickly. Oh. We have won a great victory here today, my brothers. Let us 
construct a camp and seize Cordova, the jewel of southern Iberia. Agreed. Tariq, you are a wise man. Very wise man. A ship of villagers has arrived from Ceuta to help us establish a camp. To work, quickly. There is no time to lose. Roger that, Tariq. Oh, it's nice to have voice actors again. So I'm just going to send a knight down there. This is where we're supposed to attack later on. I'm going to send one knight up here as well. And kind of spread my units out a little bit to look for those locals and see if there's anything we can benefit. Benefit? Benefit. Heavily from with the locals. They did say they might join us and stuff. Our stables will train your horsemen and our dock will build your ships. Thank you. Very kind. Yeah, like I said, they did say the... Wait, maybe I need to send Tarek himself. We'll try. Okay, so these are the parts where I would turn the speed up to fast. It might take a while to get things going again. Let's see, maybe Tarek needs to go here himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, these accents are funny. I like it. Okay, what happened here? Uh, destroy Visigoth castles to loot gold. Reinforcements will periodically arrive by transport from Soda. Nice. Yeah, so it seems like Tarek himself has to actually go to these places. I'll still use my knights to just scout around for these very places though. Yeah, we need some wood. So we were capped to 120 population, was it? Some gold there. I'll use this transport to scout the water. Make some more fishing ships. Focus on the economy for now. Oh, they're trading. Sneaky. Try to scout the map ASAP. I feel like we were meant to build a town center here. It looks like the perfect location. It's like they built it for making. I uh, built a map for making a town center there. Are we attacked on water? Oh wait, what's this? Oh, that's Sara, our allies. I see they have. Um, they already have uh, transports loaded. That can only be good. I'll just keep looking around on the map. Yeah, Visigoths, very close. So, kill Visigoth castles to loot gold, they said. Alright, alright. Don't... haven't seen any more locals yet. I think I want to get to castles and heal up my... Uh... It seems that the Visigoths have scouted our position. Bolster the oh shit. Be prepared for enemy attacks. Oh shit. Okay, I have an idea. Stonewall this part. Force them across this bridge. And we'll go here as well. And have a look. To see if we can just defend this bridge. Like a, make it a choke, kind of. It's much easier to defend. We are spending a lot of gold doing that, but... That's worth it, I hope. So this is my plan. The wall like that, so there's only... Oh, oh no! Where did that come from? Probably actually make a gate here. Not the palace I don't want a stone gate. Um I don't see Oh no. Okay, that works. Don't see any more locals. I can have a look quick look down here, but I don't think there's gonna be anything there. So that's probably it when it comes to the locals. Well, it's just one hostar running around here. This did say we should bolster our defenses because apparently the enemy is coming. I'm gonna make a choke there as well because, like, you know, if they want to enter, then like they'll probably get. If we can trick the AI, I mean, might be able to trick the AI to just like move in very inefficiently. Which is what they will do if they uh, come in through only one tile at a time. 
Yeah, it seems like there is no more locals around to help us. I'll just leave that guy. Now, question is what units do we go for? We. At least they are not. Well, actually, Orange is Imperial, but he's my friend, so that's fine. Don't see any others hitting uh, any. We were limited to cast as well, to be fair. Now, okay, I'm gonna see if that actually gives us any upgrades on. Oh, we actually got fletching for him, so that's good. Um, I mean, these characters aren't gonna be the best units against Visigoth. They are infantry, they have husk hulls, most likely. Maybe they are making a hand, can, uh, hand, uh, hand cannons. Uh, men at arms, long swords, pikemen as well. So it might be useful with a couple of them. Oh, we did get Bloodlands upgrade as well. This guy is a really good hero then. 15 attack! Means that we can upgrade our Imperial Age units here as well. Which, uh, we should try and keep alive. To be fair, we need an archer range as well, though, for for upgrades like thumb ring. Oh, is there a bridge here as well? Oh, where does this go? Interesting. This already f okay. This already feels very like fresh to me. You can tell that it's not a forgotten campaign. I, I like that. I mean, the Forgotten King campaigns were fine, by all means. They were just a little bit... ...painful to deal with sometimes. Feels like a little bit of a fresh breath of air. Do hand cart. I don't know if you should make any more wheels. How many wheels do we have? 31. Okay. Don't think they're gonna attack us. And did they say we should watch out for like ships as well? I have seen nothing of those. Maybe the difficulty isn't too hard at the for the first African Kingdoms campaign, which would make sense. What's the unique tech again in Castles for burps? Caspa team castles work 25% faster. Okay. Don't need that right now. We will do that. Do husbandry, we'll do second armor. This will just boom and make some more economy. While uh, we get those upgrades at the same time. Yeah, and this is the parts where I feel like. Wait, yeah, 120 population, yeah, right. These are the parts where I feel like it would be a, it's good, a, good, a good idea to, to play on fast speed. But as we engage in battles, I might. We wanted to turn it down to to uh, normal. Oh, oh shit! What? Oh god, that's a solid reinforcement right there. Did not expect the reinforcements to be like that. Not that I'm complaining. Imperial upgrades and everything. That means that I'm gonna start moving forward. So we'll just move into like this territory and we'll let's see here again. Uh, conquer Cordoba by destroying his castle. So it's secondary to do this, but we're gonna try and do that anyway. To take out Visigoth first. Maybe try and interfere with their trade route. Right there. Okay, we need a, a university. We got thumb ring. Oh, what's that? Oh no. Okay, so cavalrys, I guess, are probably gonna be good for us. Main cavalry units, by the looks of things. Let's make the siege between the two cities. That would oh, that does make sense. Should upgrade my units faster. Only castleage upgrades for their units. I feel like our, our, I mean, our units are just going to be too strong for this, no? With all these upgrades and everything. Uh, 
especially our range units, as long as they don't have a ton of husk crawls. They should dominate, no? I'm just gonna go right ahead. Some we have a lot of extra food. Which is never a bad thing. Let's, uh, let's add some knights. Some ca oh, actually I haven't done thumbling yet. Okay, now they do have some husk calls. We actually do well against them even because of our... Uh... Wait, what? I have cap rams? Why do I have cap rams? Not that I'm complaining. Okay, we need more army. Oh boy. I have underestimated their opponents. As I usually do. Oh no. Uh, why do I always do this? Ah, they have such a high score as well, so they probably have a lot of resources. We're limited to 120 population as well, which means I can't really make too many more wills, in my opinion. Oh, where's Tariq? Okay, he's up and running nicely still. Okay, I'm, I have moved forward too quickly. I got a little bit too confident after I got those Imperial up, uh, units from uh, our allies down south. Let's just do Thumb Ring. Should help our units a lot. Prepare like, say, 10 ramps maybe? We're back. We have cheaper knights, so that really helps. As well, to like, as long as we can keep the imperial cam uh, archers, cavalry, ar heavy cavalry archers, and stuff alive, as long as we can just make cheap knights and stuff to put in front, it should be good for us. Okay, so. Seems like their unit spam has stopped up a little bit. Means I'm getting overly brave again. Potentially. But I don't care. Let's do this. Oh, they're actually enemy ships here now. Make a fire galley. Oh no, what is this? Go back. Get the knights in front. Just gonna do this. There is multi queue in HD, which I tend to always forget. Oh, no. Get the rams. Ah, they have a lot of units incoming, actually. But I think, still again with our Imperial Age upgrades, I mean Imperial Age Heavy Cavalry Arches, still feel like we have a very strong army here. Yeah, let's go. Go for those mangonels. Okay, there's one castle. I wonder how much gold we'll get from that, though. It's gonna be interesting to see. Come back. We'll make another monastery to heal up our units a little bit more. Alright, siege workshop down. Still a lot of units. Trying to get the towers. I might have to just dive in here because they will still keep killing our rams. We need more knights. This I don't like that they don't group up next to each other. Like all the cavalchers should be next to each other, all the knights and so on. You get what I mean? 
Okay, I wonder how many bases. It seems like they only have two bases, Basic Goth. But yeah, we are kind of breaking them here. Now just, I'm gonna just dive in here now. Get him! Don't let him destroy the ram. Seems like the castle has. Uh... Actually, I'm very happy we have a uh, capped ram here. This would have been hard with uh, just normal, normal battering rams. Yeah, I do feel like. Uh, I mean, they have motor holes, which is kind of good for us. I'd rather have the castle hit the rams than hit my units. To be fair. Yeah, they don't really have much to, more to offer, it seems, uh, the Visigoth here. So this is good. I think we have struck a good balance when it comes to when to stop making bills. And especially if they're going to keep giving us more units. Uh, soda. Well, they have one more transport. I'm not sure if that's the last one we're going to get or, some, or what. Might be. Do we have full upgrades? Just about. Let's see how much gold we get from this. 2000! Yay! I'm gonna add some cow arches as well. Because why not? Oh no. How about you move out of the way and let the ram take out the tower? I'm gonna move down to the Visigoth here. The Cordoba is Cordobians. <laughs> Cordoba isn't really helping out their team, their allies. So... We'll just keep going down here. Straight for the Visigoth. And I hope that we have enough rams. Actually, I should probably follow up with these. Make another siege here, just in case. Oh, there's even spam in coming again. I think we have enough uh, units, knights, in the front though, to make sure we will not lose that. Yeah, we're just cleaning, cleaning house. Yeah. Yeah, I should keep an eye on Tariq here. That he make sure he stays alive. I think we'll be fine. But rather safe than sorry, as the saying goes. So I'm just gonna group up like a lot of ramps up here as well. So I feel like this will be enough to take out. Actually, they have a lot of towers and stuff. I don't wanna lose all my knights here. I'm not careful. But I don't see, don't see villagers from them, so I assume they will not rebuild. Once they lose all this. So that's a good sign at least. I feel like the game sound is loud. Hope I'm wrong, but hope the sounds fine. That's Ram is hitting the tower through the walls. That's solid. Yeah, there's, I feel like just taking out production here is probably the right option or choice as well. Get the ram. Actually, let's just go straight for the castle. Why not? Oh no. It will stay there on top of that hill. Oh, they're even using ships. Oh, I wonder if these guys would actually shoot the uh, reinfo- Oh, god. I wonder if they would shoot the reinforcements. Like the, if Orange came with a transport ship, I wonder if... No! Don't shoot the ram! I wonder if uh, the, the teal water units would actually take out... ...the transport ship, that is. What? Look how much damage we do to that tower. We'll do the same amount of damage to this castle. 
Oh, we actually do really good damage with the cow watches even. A little bit surprised by that. Oh, we have Cyrus and ally. Makes sense. Because a Cyrus and ally. Never mind. No, they are Saracen units, of course. I got them from Saracens, right? So we have this cavalry archers plus three attack versus buildings and on the heavy cav archers. Makes sense. Okay, so that castle should be down any second now. Oh, they already... These gods had much gold. Yeah. Okay, I thought they resigned. I thought I heard a resigned sound. Guys, I stopped making units. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, the Visigoth objective kind of disappeared. They, they're still making units, so let's get rid of their all their buildings. So they're not going to be a nuisance. They're doing the work. Where is their production at, really, actually? I should just focus on the production only. Spending too much time shooting towers and stuff. Not focusing on what's important. Okay, let's get the barracks. I want to move to fast speed now that we um, are just going to clean up teal here. This is the type of uh, speed management I think would probably be the best choice to go for here. Instead of sticking to only one, we can... Oh, oh, oh yes, look at this. Oh. I like... I like it very much. Right, let's just take out these barracks. That and that. Can't wait for those camel archers to arrive. I wonder if they have the Saracen bonus. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get the docks. Seems like they're still making galleys. Just might want to just run up and take them out as well. My cow archers soon. Oh, they resigned. Well, they lost pretty much all the buildings. So we're just gonna move back now. I don't care about the water units then. Move over here where we have pre prepared our beautiful ramps. Also, I'm just gonna queue up units fully for my buildings. What is this? Why are you acting like that? Um, where was there more gold? Down here? Up here. There we go. So, okay, we have everything. Yes, sir. Now, let's see how much purple has to offer. Cordoba. Come at me, bros. Ah, oh, fully upgraded elite camel archers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How come we lose against castle agents with this? Tell me. Let's see. I mean, we do hit, strike that wall pretty hard. Let's just get rid of that wall ASAP gate, rather. I'm just gonna patrol in here. Oh, they do have ships as well. That's fine. Check out a bit of villagers. Make more army. Faster. So we'll pop up for a while there. Oh, that's a tower. I didn't, oh, I didn't see that tower, actually. Camouflaged. Yeah, how can they have... We can't lose with our Imperialist units. Ain't a chance. Ain't a chance. No way, Jose. So, we just need to take the castle. And yeah, we'll just work our way through the buildings here to make sure... Very good. 
follow up with Siege Workshop's Insider Base. Can't get rid of these chips as well, it'll be annoying. Alright, slow and steady. Yeah, these units will never die. These are talents as well, so no more husk calls. That's good for us. Good news. We are losing all our rams though, but so be it. No, a monk. Can we just get rid of these ships, please? Wait, where is Terry? Oh, he's actually lost some HP. I gotta be careful with him still. Make sure he stays fine. Safe and fine. So our rush incoming. I'm actually losing quite a bit quite a couple of units here. Why are they stuck here? I felt like I had a low army. Makes sense now, since units keep getting stuck for some reason there. Uh, these ships are annoying. Go there. Can you take out the dock, please? Get rid of more units. Bad villagers. Okay, now it's time to get rid of all these boats. Come on. I think we're just gonna dive straight for the castle here. Well, not dive, but focus on the castle rather. I got this. Oh, come on. We went to the base. Well, uh, oh. Why are they running this way? Well, whatever. Tariq is full HP. Keep an eye on him down here. Okay, I'm just gonna send these straight for the castle now. All our ramps. I don't think they have the units to stop this. So let's do that. Oh no. Okay, I thought that was I thought they had more packs in there. Stop. Oh, I'm just gonna go back. Actually I'm dropping in population quite a bit. Oh! Why oh, is he losing HP? But I think now this should be much better. Let these rams come for the castle. Rams are actually dying quite fast. Why did they go there? Just hit the castle. Okay, it seems okay. I feel like I'm... Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> I think we'll be fine, but... You are suffering some losses. A lot of losses. Not even sure if that will be enough. At least we're cleaning all their production on this side meanwhile. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be enough yet. If we do that, then we buy a million knights. Make some janitors. Let's dive in here again. Tariq is already fully healed. Okay, I mean, I th we should be able to clean it with the next wave. Should be. Should have made a bit more buildings like inside the base as well. So they reinforced faster. That's on me. That's my fault. 
take this guy. And we'll group up these guys. Take the monastery and then we'll go for the castle again. Got a little bit careful though. We are kind of out of our Imperial Age units. But we still have like only these. But yeah, just gotta keep Tariq safe. Safe and sound. Oh no. I don't want this mango to do too much damage. Get it! Nice. Oh, there are so many of them. They've been grouping up, so they lost so much HP there. Stop hitting the house! Where are these guys? Oh, they're chasing that guy. Roger that. Alright, now. Is this still not gonna be. Can you just hit that, please? Why are they hitting the houses? Oh, it's still not gonna be enough, is it? Those fire towers are doing work. God damn it. Okay, I guess we go back then. Wait for the next. These ships, man. Oh, there's still a tower there, even. I'm doing this so much harder than it had to be. Making it so much harder than it had to be. Send the monks there. Let's try and convert some of those ships. Almost just feel like taking this out before the castles. Okay, here we go. My units keep hitting the houses for some reason. Not sure what that's about. Am I completely out of gold here? Why are these guys glitching out so bad? Get these goddamn ships. Get him! Tariq still full HP. So all good. Rid of that tower. Thank you. Get rid of this. Okay, all good, all good. So many random towers everywhere as well. Now, please take out that dock. We're actually very low in population. Do I really have to remake Vils and stuff? I hope not. Last boat. Die. Ugh. Get the range. Get rid of their... Don't tell me I'm... Ugh. Well, whatever. Alright. Still have these towers up, but... I mean, we're getting rid of their production. Slow and safe. Slow and safe. Sure. Slow and steady. Tariq is still full HP, so we're safe there. These fire towers actually are really good against the rams. Should take more care of that for the future. There's a lot of these uh, circulating still. Then. Can actually afford a cast now. Kinda regret not making more camel archers instead of all the other units I've been making. Okay, we're gonna turn this to fast speed again because I don't think they have much more to offer now. Yep, that's all their production now. It's just towers and a castle. Then we can call this mission a success. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Now let's keep Tariq safe. Oh. Well, I mean, I appreciate it, but I think we were fine. 
There we go. Maybe does fast speed make the um, like does that fast speed cut that off? Because we didn't get to hear the all that. Uh, yeah, by the will of Allah, we have succeeded. We didn't get to hear all that. Is that because I had fast speed? Might be. So we'll try to make sure that we are on. Um, I didn't go for these. I remember they said in the hints that there were islands with resources. Um, yeah, we didn't take the. Oh, they were fully upgraded as well. This would have been the final blow, regardless. Yeah, we didn't take the. I mean. What was I even saying? Well, whatever. I forgot what I said. Yeah, let me know if fast speed will make those um, interactions mess up. Sounded like it does, but I'm not sure. Let me know. And also let me know which speed you prefer. Do you prefer the whole thing on fast? Do you prefer to make a mix like I'm doing right now or the whole thing on normal even? I think the whole thing on normal, probably not going to be doing that regardless, because there are parts of the game where it's just too slow. So where it just makes complete sense for fast speed. And then again, if some of these are really long, then I really want to do those on fast speed. Because else the video might end up being 2-3 hours long. Like Hanfog Lalas in the Forgotten Campaigns would have been over 3 hours if we played that on normal. 4 hours even, maybe. So yeah, anyways. A little bit of a fresh, fresh breath of air with these African Kingdoms campaigns so far. With the voice acting and all that stuff, really like that. So let's see what they say now, once again. Dragged by fear and treachery, the slow Visigoth forces fell easily to our agile horsemen. Thousands of men lie dead, and although they were our enemies, the Visigoths fought valiantly and honorably. It is a melancholy thing to see their corpses left to the crows and wolves. As we entered the city of Cordoba, men stared in awe at the architecture and riches on display. Now is no time for resting, Tariq tells us. There is much left to be done. All right. Let's have a look at the stats here. Naturally, we have the better end of the stats. Okay, so they, have, they, did have, blah, blah, blah. they did have trade, but they had no other collection. I assume they had plenty of resources then to spend. But yeah, I, li I like this start. We're off to a good start here, I feel like. That was uh, the Battle of Guadalete. Coming up next will be Consolidation and Subjugation. So, I hope you guys are excited for the African Kingdoms campaign. Thanks a lot for watching this one, and hope you're looking forward to the next one. I will see you then.